Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at SaaS North. We are doing interviews with some of the coolest SaaS companies in Ottawa. We were just talking to Rewind, one of the new companies on the scene, but there's also Clipfolio, one of the companies that's been around for more than a decade, quite a long time, and has really shown itself as one of the, the established SaaS firms in Ottawa. Today, we've got with us Alan Ville, who until about a month ago was the CEO of Clipfolio, but one of the co-founders had been in that role for Oh, 17 years or so. 17 years, yeah. 17 yeah. years. Uh, but you recently decided, uh, no, it's time for someone else to take the yeah. reins. Yeah. I'm very curious, what, uh, what was going on at Cliffolio or, or at the point in the business that you said, okay, you know what, I'm actually not the person to guide this company to the next stage. What was that thought process like? Sure. I mean, this is something that uh, I think is, is very healthy, and, and, and a lot of companies should look at this and evaluate this on a, on a periodic basis. Um, and this process for us started uh, actually quite a while ago. Um, so we looked at not only the team, and we have certainly brought in some senior executives to, to complement my role, uh, to complement the rest of the team. But one of the things that we evaluated as well was, you know, do we need to bring in somebody else to lead the company forward? You know, and that would allow me to focus on other areas that I'm passionate about. So, and that's exactly what we did. And, you know, none of this would have, would have happened if we hadn't have found somebody who was really a perfect, perfect fit. You know, somebody who is people first, who complements, you know, my personality. You know, I'm much more of, a, a, I would say, an unstructured leader. Uh, I'm, I'm passionate about the vision. You know, Owen complements that. And I think this is something that uh, is going to be really positive for the company as we move to the next stage. Uh, very exciting change, obviously, but probably not an easy decision, but like you said, get, you get to focus on, on uh, other parts of the business where, where your vision is better, maybe better suited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, with us, we have Chad Holliday uh, with Stratford Managers, one of the actually angel investors with Capital Angel Network, so heavily involved in the Ottawa tech scene. Chad, I want to pass it to you for a couple questions to Alan about uh, innovation at Clipfolio. Thanks a lot. So, Alan, 17 years, is that right, at Clipfolio? And how long you running the organization the whole time as the CEO, uh, if you founder, running, CEO? Yes, <laughs> yes. So Roughly I, I speaking, was in that, uh, that, that was my title for sure. So uh, I think a lot of the companies here at SAS, SAS North would find it interesting. How over that period of time do you maintain your competitive edge? Like how important is innovation? Mm -hmm. And um, actually, there's a number of things. And and what role does culture and climate play? It's actually incredibly important, and um, I think many companies don't think about innovation and build it into their culture as much as they perhaps should, us, us included. Um, and there's a couple of instances in the company's history where, if I look back, we, we should have taken a much more aggressive stance on obsolescing the product, on really thinking about what are the things that we're doing that really will leapfrog um, the current product, the entire industry. And I think it's a, it's a common pitfall. People get into these situations where the product is going well, it's growing at 2x, 3x, you're focused on sales and marketing, uh, you're fundraising, and innovation actually falls by the wayside. So I think it's, it's one of those things that, even as a small company with five or ten people, you should build a culture of, of having a labs group or spending you know, twice a year, sort of a, a real future strategy session and thinking about how will we obsolesce our product. I think that's, that's a key question that, that needs to be answered. Yeah. So was there ever a time when you fell into a pitfall and what did you do to kind of get out of it then? Yeah, um, yeah there was a couple of times that we fell into that pitfall. Uh, and, and as I said, they come for different reasons. One, because um, you found success. And, you know, why would we ever change if we're growing at this velocity? Uh, the one that I'm thinking about um, where we fell into this pitfall was actually we, we had mediocre success. So we had a product, uh, this is quite a number of years ago, that was selling to a few folks, but it felt very difficult to sell. And instead of saying, listen, we've got to go back to the drawing board and reinvent the product or reinvent the go-to-market or, or think about things differently, we actually got into a, a very stubborn, let's stay the track. Yeah. And I see companies do that as well. Yeah. You know, you get these false glimmers of, oh, we made a sale to this big enterprise customer. Yeah. So there's hope, yeah. but it's false hope. Yeah. You know, did it, did it feel like it was, you're pushing a string? 
You know, if it's feeling that way, you probably don't have that product market fit. And you should probably say, look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay, we have to re retreat, figure this thing out, and tell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. So, I mean, there's multiple reasons why, why you don't innovate. Um, I think what the advice that I would say is you have to be deliberate about setting an agenda and, you know, at least twice a year, put something on the books or innovation is the agenda. Better than that, actually have a group of people, if you've got enough size in the company, have a group of people that maybe in, in, involves a, a, a customer advisory board. Yeah. Um, bring them in and really try thinking about those, those future-minded questions. How are you going to solve these things? And it's, it's doable and it's fun, and I think you've got to invest in that. It's difficult uh, to kind of, it, but what, what I've, I've always found is it's difficult to kind of separate yourself from the day-to-day. So sometimes you have to set your organization. You, you gave an example of innovation labs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, you just need to set an organization and have the discipline mm -hmm. not to touch it. Yep. I mean, it's really easy to kind of go, oh, my three best guys are over here, yep. and we're having a, a problem with the, the biggest customer right now, and I'm going to dip into those guys. If you keep doing that, you're basically reducing the talent pool, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have, um, we do hack days. We do uh, scratch your itch days. Um, you know, we do team hack projects as well, and there's some really interesting stuff that comes out of it. So a labs group might not all, only be uh, a protected group of people. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you say, okay, well, the labs group has got a, um, a timeline on it. Yeah. Maybe there's four months where we have these, this group come together, yeah. and then that group graduates and you bring a different group, or yeah. maybe you bring experts in throughout. Yeah, so I think there's a number of ways to do it. Yeah. And by doing that, it infuses the culture into the rest of the organization as well. Yeah, thank you very much, Chad. I see some fantastic questions about how Quipfolio is, is uh, knowing you know, what to invest in, what not to when it comes to innovation. Um, focusing back on SAS North, we are here at, at the Ottawa's annual SAS conference. Uh, I know you've given a couple talks already, answered some Q&As, Alan, but uh, for a moment, you know, step out of those shoes and, and back into, you know, a young SAS startup mindset. Uh, if you are a young SAS entrepreneur uh, coming into uh, a conference like this, what's the best way to, you know, take away some, some value from a conference like this? So, I mean, if I was, if I was starting up an, an you know, brand new venture, if, if I was here as sort of my first time getting into a conference, I'd probably make sure to, to talk to some other CEOs or to talk to some CPOs or some CTOs, right, to really understand, well, what are the things that they've learned along the way, you know, that I, that I could take back to the drawing board. Um, and, and then I would act on that. I would say, okay, let's build that relationship. And it's not how big your network is, but I think if you can make one or two connections here that can then turn into local advisors, something that you can phone up, have a coffee with, bounce some ideas off of, I think that would be probably the most important thing. Uh, lots of good talks, lots of good sessions happening, but if you could end up tomorrow having one or two advisors, or on the path to getting one or two, or two advisors, I think that would be, uh, be the takeaway. Yeah, you, you take the value that, that's gathered in this room, that critical mass of, of knowledge and experience, and, and find a way to take that on. Take yeah. that on to the, the next year in between SAS North so that you know you've got uh, a valuable connection to serve you through, through the year uh, when SAS North isn't going on. But uh, obviously, a uh, fantastic insight. Thank you very much, Alan, for joining us from Clipfolio. And as well, Chad, uh, joining us from Stratford Managers, one of our great champions. Uh, I want to take a quick moment to thank the rest of our Techopia champions, without whom this show would not be possible. I want to start with Number Crunch, offering virtual CFO services to SaaS firms in Ottawa. There's Pearlie Robertson, Hill & McDougall, a leader in business and tech law. There's TD Bank, offering specialized programs for tech firms. The University of Ottawa Faculty of Engineering, creating the next generation of technical talent. And of course, we had Chad Holliday here from Stratford Managers, offering services to help you scale up your tech venture. Now, Techopia is not just this fantastic show. We have also got daily articles going on at obj.ca slash techopia. You can sign up for our email newsletter, techopia.email. 
Follow us on social, on Facebook and Twitter, at Techopia OTT. And if you're following us on YouTube, leave us a like and a comment and subscribe to us to see the next videos coming out from Techopia Live. We have had a fantastic day here so far at SAS North. Uh, please stay tuned to the rest of the conference. Hope you're here and enjoying yourself and taking away some of those uh, fantastic SAS nuggets uh, that are, are, are bounding here at SAS North. Thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you soon.